Hey everyone, and how are you guys doing today? I hope everybody is having a wonderful day today so far. Hope your October has been beautiful so far because today it is just an absolutely gorgeous day today, and I hope it's gorgeous where you are today. But if it is not, hopefully we will make up for that today because guys, we're gonna be doing a beautiful get ready with me today. I have a really beautiful palette here with from Nomad Cosmetics. Um, and it is just absolutely stunning. It is so beautiful. I can't wait to play with this. It has got fall written all over it, as well as the new Patrick Ta blush palette. And then I have on a new Christian Audette lipstick, which we are gonna be partnering with another um, friend that is also a little bit of a newer product for me. Um, so if you want to stick around and you want to hang out with me and you wanna find out how I go from this to, to this, then stick around and keep on watching. And I pull you guys up a little bit closer and we get dived down in this tutorial. I thought I would just do a little real quick information um, really, really quickly. Um, first of all, first of all, if you love this lipstick, this is the new Christian Audette Brave Lipstick. They are partnering with um, Breast Cancer Awareness Month and they've created this beautiful lipstick. I thought I would let you guys see what it looks like on its own before we do lip liner because we're gonna change this whole lip look towards the end. But I wanted you to see what it looks like on its own um, so without a lip liner, so you can, if you decide that you want to get it, um, it will help with proceeds will go towards breast cancer awareness. Also, I am wearing a beautiful sweater. This is from Target. Um, I picked this up. This is an actual women's sweater. Um, so if you guys are interested in this and you really like this, they have this in many, many colors. To me, it is not really a woman's sweater. It could, a man or a woman could use it. Um, they, I will leave the link down below because I do have a Target link. If you guys did not know that, I have a Walmart link. I also have an Amazon link. Um, they are all down below in my description box, so I will leave that down there below, but this sweater was $25. It's absolutely beautiful, um, and so if you guys are interested in these kind of sweaters, but you're looking for a really good sweater, but you want to spend a fortune on them, it's just a beautiful texture. It's really beautiful. Um, definitely make sure to check this out. My nails also will be down in the link below. This is the OPI nail polish. I think that don't call me JK or something, but all of that will be linked down below. Um, but, but with that said, let's dive into just kind of talking a little bit really quickly about this product, a little bit of information because I feel like I need to. Um, this company together, her name is Felicia. I reached out to her and just um, just briefly asked if I could get a code, um, if there was any way that to my, um, you know, or my subscribers could save a little bit of money. And so she gave me a code. Um, so it's Gabe Loves 10 and I will link the link down below. So I don't get any proceeds from this. I don't have any um, I'm not getting any kind of commission off of this. I'm just giving you guys 10% off so that way you can save on this palette if you decide you want to get it. But um, just to give you a little bit about Nomad, they sent me this beautiful card um, with it and on the back of it, it talks about the business, a little bit about the business, about her and her husband, how they kind of started it. Um, and then they sent me a beautiful little postcard that, uh, about the Hudson Valley postcard and they addressed it to me. I thought that was just a beautiful personal touch. Um, the thing about this palette, guys, is, is this palette is probably one of the most personal palettes that I've ever seen in all my years of cosmetics. I have been in the industry for 30 years. If you guys did not know, I'm still in the industry. I'm doing retail. Um, but this palette is just absolutely beautiful. But the thing about it is, is all the thought and the process behind it. So all of these, um, all these places were actually based in the palette. So they basically based the palette off of these places. And I thought that was so cool. I just thought that was just, wow, what a personal touch to actually go out and look at places and get inspired to create a palette because you don't hear companies doing that very much. It's usually probably sitting around a marketing table and creating something. So that is what is really impressed me with this brand so far. This is my first time using this cosmetic. So if you guys have never used them or whatever, I do recommend that you kind of just go over and look at their website, even if you don't purchase anything, just so you can kind of see. But um, it's just really beautiful. It's a really nice touch. Um, this is what the packaging looks like on the outside, what it came in. It's a beautiful... It's a mat um, with a little bit of an embroidery around the top of it. It's just gorgeous. 
palette. It just looks so beautiful. It gives you a description of the shadows on the back of it. Um, it is cruelty free. Um, they do have the bunny seal of approval. Um, it's vegan. Um, they're recyclable. I mean, if you're, you know, I'm pretty sure they're like fragrance free and all the dermatologists and all that kind of dermatologist tested and all that kind as well. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful. It gives you like a little description of the palette. Um, it's just really, really beautiful. And then of course, then it is the palette itself. The palette is just screams fall. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's in a magnetic case with a beautiful mirror in the inside of it. But look at these gorgeous shadows. Aren't they beautiful? I didn't want to touch any of the embossings because I really wanted you guys to see them up close and see the attention to all the detail that they did. It's just amazing. Um, so thank you, Felicia, for reaching out to me and giving my subscribers a code. I really do appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. And hopefully this look turns out really good and you're impressed with it and you like it. Um, you know, and then with that said, we're just going to move on to really quickly to um, the Patrick Top palette. I've wore this palette already. Um, I've already kind of had my thoughts on it, but I wanted to, I've not got to kind of review it yet for you guys yet. Um, and oh, by the way, just wanted to remind you guys that the palette is only, this palette is $35. I think it's 35 or 36. I'll leave it right here, but you guys, it's that for this kind of a palette, usually, you know, I'm so used to paying $65 and $70 if we get a palette or if I get one from someone that sends it to me. It's usually, they're expensive. They're more expensive. But um, back to Patrick Ta again. So this one is around the $58, $60 mark. This is what the outside packaging looks like. And then it has your, you know, it has the cream blushes on the top and then it has the highlighter and then it has two other shades in here. We will be doing a little bit of comparison. I'm not gonna do a lot. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on it. I already have my thoughts on this palette um, and all that good stuff, and you will see that in Final Thoughts. Um, but if you want to see me apply it and everything and kind of compare it to some other ones when we get to that point, get to that part. If you just came for that and you don't want to see the eyeshadow look, and then, of course, then we have the Christian Audette lipstick, which I really love. It's a beautiful color by itself. It looks really pretty. And then with that said, guys, we are ready to jump into this tutorial. So if you guys are ready to head, let's head on over and get started. Okay, guys, so we are ready to get started. I pulled you guys up a little bit closer. Just to let you guys, just in, in reference, I have my windows open because it feels so good outside, but uh, but there are noises because I live near an airport. Um, people come in and out of the door because I'm right below the door where people enter in and out of my apartment complex. People talk, so you might hear some stuff in the background to just kind of ignore it. Um, if it does, I'll try to tune out as much as I can, but just to let you guys know if we're out of that. Um, but anyway, I've got on my eyeshadow base. I put on my P. Louise um, eyeshadow base in rumor number two. I absolutely love this eyeshadow base. It's so good. I'm going to keep on the Christian Audette Brave Lipstick. Um, again, this is with that lip liner. We'll be using a lip liner a little bit later in the video. Um, but I've got a little bit of mascara on just to give me a little bit of lash because um, we're going to be doing a little bit more of a kind of a very fall-inspired apple cider festival type look today. Um, so we are getting ready to start into this palette. It looks so beautiful. Um, I think I want to start off with um, a little bit of this really beautiful shade here, this yellow shade with a refer brush. And this is in my refer brush number 15. And this is called the Cider House is what it's called. And it is a really beautiful um, mustard shade. I mean, it's so, so pretty on my skin. It looks really, really beautiful. I really like that. So I think we're going to start off with that one. Um, just kind of go in here and kind of really build that up. That is a really beautiful shade. It feels very buttery. It's a matte. Um, just to let you guys know, the majority of these are matte. So in the center, it's got shimmers in the center, and then everything else is matte around it. So there's there's actually 12 matte in this palette, and then there's three shimmers. So it's really beautiful. They look really buttery and creamy, and this is going on really nicely, by the way. So we're just going to build that up just a little bit more. Look how pretty that is. That is beautiful just on its own. And that is definitely a beautiful fall look. Um, we're going to be focusing a little bit more on the browner shades, though, on the outer these over here. So we're going to be focusing more on those. It's just really beautiful. That's such a beautiful mustard shade. Um, I think I'm going to go in with the same brush. And we're going to dip into, it's called the Great Pumpkin Patch. And it is like a really beautiful, it's almost this really pretty, um, 
um, grungy kind of a brown. It's really, really super pretty. So I think I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add a little bit more in here just to add that depth over top of that yellow because I really wanna make it like these two transition colors really pretty together. Um, really beautiful. We'll have to go back in again with the um, more of the olive tones. We'll have to go back in maybe another time and do that. I have like a lot of these fall videos coming up, so we're going to be doing quite a few of them. Um, so uh, between now and Christmas or, or before Thanksgiving, so don't worry about we'll be doing quite a bit of these because I love doing fall looks. This is probably my favorite time of year to do looks um, as far as looks go. I really do enjoy it. Um, but these are just blending just beautifully. They're so smooth and so creamy and so buttery. And you know what? And for $35, I mean, this is a beautiful quality palette. Already, I can already tell you it's really gorgeous. I'm so sorry the um, maintenance guys are outside having a discussion. So. <laughs> I just if you can hear them, um, I really do. They're, they're, usually they don't do that, but today they're really having a powwow today. So now let's take a little bit of the, um, let's do a little bit of this orange shade. I want to do it on my lid. Um, so let me get a, I want to do a little bit more of a packing brush. So, so the orange shade, <clears throat> The orange shade is called Fall Festival, and it has like little musical marks on it. How pretty is that? It's like, again, it's like this really, it's not a complete like orange. It's more of like a softer, warmer orange and not a bright orange. Um, so I'm going to go use it to kind of go in. Again, just to let you guys know, I have not powdered yet. I've not done any of that stuff yet. I was waiting to do all of that after we do blush and everything. Um, I just did a foundation review, which that should be, maybe, I don't know if it'll be up for this one or not, but anyway. I don't have any of that on, so just to keep that in mind. So, um, I'm going to go in my Refer 32 brush. It's got a little bit of an angle, and I'm going to dip into Fall Festival. And I really want to add Fall Festival right here on my lid. So, look how beautiful. Wow. That is gorgeous. Wow. That's stunning. That is beautiful. That is a really beautiful color. And they're not patchy or anything, guys. They're just like going on so smooth. So impressed. I'm so impressed with this so far. You can tell that they really took time out. And um, and I'm also getting no fallout. No fallout on the mat to whatsoever so far. We'll have to see when we get to the shimmer shades, but um, but yeah, no fallout whatsoever so far. But this is just gorgeous. And by the way, this will probably be a little bit more of a dramatic look because we're, um, if we were doing more of a day look, I would probably either stop it at like the, um, the brown shade and maybe do maybe a little shimmer or I would probably stop it here. I probably wouldn't go any further if I wanted to do a day look with this. Um, but we're definitely gonna, I want to dip into some of these other shades. So this is what, but this would be a beautiful with just mascara and maybe just a little something underneath or maybe take one of, take this shade up underneath a little bit would look so gorgeous, would look super, super beautiful. So I'm gonna pack a little bit more. I want to really pack this shade on. I really want it to be impactful. This brush does a really good job of that. If you guys have never tried Riffle brushes, I have a link down below too. I mean, of course, of course I have a link. <laughs> Just kidding. Just of course I have a link. Um, but I do have a link down below if you guys want to check them out. I mean, if you're in the need of good brushes, I love these and the BK Beauty brushes. They are some of my favorite brushes. Um, but I just love these brushes. They're really beautiful quality brushes and they're really amazing. Um, but yeah, that looks really pretty. Let me take just a little bit more over here on the corner. Cause I want a little bit more there too, so we can just make it kind of pop. Because you guys know, if you guys have not know, I love me some orange and I love me some warm toned. That that is just, that's stunning. That's really, really pretty. So I'm going to take this um, uh, Refer Brush with O3 brush. It's like a little, it's like a little corner brush or like a little, it's very, it's very tight. I'm going to tap off a little bit of the excess and I'm going to go in here and really add a little bit more up underneath here. You know, the, doing the whole open mouth trick just to give a little something, something under here because I'm going to start building this up a little bit too. Because we're going to do probably, we're going to do some fake lashes with this. Not like an over the top fake lash, but we're going to definitely give that really beautiful a little bit more to give a little bit more amp, umph, 
but that's really pretty. And I just want to show you, if you guys can see the embossing on it, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it is, it is the cutest thing. It's got like a little wheelbarrow with apples in it, or, or like a little crate with apples in it. It's so cute. But it's a beautiful matte, almost like a beautiful matte. It's almost like a, it's, it's definitely almost like a red. It's definitely almost like a red. I'm sure this will probably stain a little bit, but I really want to go in here and really build this one up in the crease here. Really want to make that pop right there. And I love a beautiful berry and a beautiful red. I love those shades. Again, if you're somebody that don't like paint tones um, or you don't like those kind of shades that will make your, I mean, uh, that kind of, they irritate your eye, um, it may not be good for you. It just depends. I would definitely do a patch test before I put it on my eyes to see um, so you wouldn't have any kind of reaction or anything to it. But that is gorgeous. That is a beautiful, look how pretty that is. That is so pretty. That is stunning. We'll probably do the wine harvest underneath. That's, that's gorgeous. Ooh, that's so pretty. Here, let's go into the, it's called wine harvest. And I'm going to put her down below right there. She's like this really deep wine color. And we're going to tap her up underneath. We're going to really bring her under here. And really kind of really build that up a little bit here. Kind of really connect that out. That's so pretty. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. And kind of connect it together. Wow, guys, that's so pretty. We kind of blend it just a little bit into this red, and we'll go back and kind of attack, kind of blend it all together. But look how beautiful that is. That's so pretty. That's a beautiful, beautiful shade. So now let me take a let me take a little bit more of the orange, and I'm gonna mix pumpkin patch and the orange together, and I'm just gonna kind of go back over this area just a tad bit and kind of blend these together with that um, apple shade. Now with a clean O1 brush, I'm going to go back into, um, let me get back into a little bit of Cider House. And that is the yellow shade. And I'm going to take it again up above this shade and kind of really blend it in together. So it gives that a little bit more, see, it gives that a little bit more of a, a little bit more yellow to it. This is so pretty. And these are really pigmented, guys. They are kind of, they do leave... A little bit of it. They're really heavily pigmented, so just keep that in mind, too. Um, but so this, I'm just to give you guys an idea of the shimmers in the middle. So this one is leaf peeling, uh, leaf peeping. Um, so she's a little bit more of a gold shimmer. And then we have um, this next shade, which is called Foliage Trail. And she's a little bit more of an orangey shade. A bronzy shade. How beautiful is that? And then um, we have this really beautiful one that's like a green. And this is called Corn Haze is what it's called. So I think I might save a little bit of, I um, don't know if I'm going to do Corn Haze in this mix or not. I might. But um, I know for sure I definitely want to use Leaf Peeping and the um, Foliage Trail. Um, so let me dive into Foliage Trail. And I'm going to tap a little bit of her right here. Right there on the outer corner. When we had that, where we did the orange early. Ooh, that's pretty. She's really pretty. Now, these are not like super foiled. They're like a really pretty shimmer, but they're not like a super foil. Um, so, just get that really pretty shimmer on the eye. I think the green, um, the green's got a little bit more, it seems it's got a little bit more of a foil to it. Um, but the yellow and the other one looks more like a shimmer, just a really pretty shimmer. It's really pretty. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the gold and leaf peeping. And let's put her right here. Ooh, that's pretty. And it blends beautifully together with the other one. And I think we might do a little bit of the green in the set right here in the inner corners when we're finished. I think that would be really beautiful. Jeez, you can kind of build it. It starts off really soft and you can build it to what you want it to. 
Well, I'm really impressed with these shadows, guys. They're so nice. And um, there is a little bit of fallout, and I think it was from, um, it was one of the shades. I'm not really sure which one it was, but it's just one of them. But it doesn't matter. I'll clean that up in just a little bit, but um, just a little bit. On this side, I didn't get any. On this side, just a little bit over there. So very little fallout, not much at all. Um, so let's do a little liner and um, some lashes, and we will be right back, and then we will go into the blush. Okay, guys, so we are back. So I took off the lipstick, um, and I did a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury. I did a little bit of the Copper Charge Duo Pencil. I did the lighter, the metallic stuff in the inside of my eye all the way across. And then I took a little bit of the darker on the top right before I did my lashes. Um, and then I did a little bit of the corn maze. I did a little bit, it's that green shade in the palette. I did just a little bit of it right here, just in the inner corner, and it made it just really kind of pop, and it gave it this really beautiful look. You could do it with the yellow if you wanted to, or if you wanted to add a little bit of the orange even. Um, I did do a little bronzer. Um, we did a little bit of that, and I kind of powdered everything, um, so, and set everything down with spray, so now we are ready to go into the patch. This is what it looks like. It is a little bit different from the other one that came out last year. The other one is a little bit more, she's more shiny. Sorry about the, not the fingerprints and everything, but she's more shiny. This one's a little bit more, it's not as shiny. It's not, it's a little bit more matter, but it's still got a shininess to it. But um, this is what it looks like in the inside. So this one is, she's flirty. This one is, um, she's, uh, she's sun kissed and this one is giving giving flirty or giving giving flirty is what this one is um so that's kind of like what it looks like in the um so kind of what it looks like in the palette if you guys can see the colors it's a little hard because it's got that little lid over the top of it um but this is what it looks like on the arm so that this is the giving flirty that's the giving sun kissed and then that's the highlight and the bomb as you can see they're very um sheer the bomb they're more balmy and they have more of a bombness to it and this is last year's palette so these are the three colors that was in the last year's palette. And then he made separate blushes with those. So this one is She's a Doll. This is She's Vibrant. And then the other one is called She's Baked. So that's what it looks like as far as that goes. If you guys can kind of see the difference. The color difference is really not much different. They're more lighter in this one than this one was more vibrant. And then up here, I put She's Bait. I mean, She's of LA. And this one is She's, um, let's see, what is that? Remember? Do We Know Her. This one's Do We Know Her. So you guys can kind of see what those look like up against these. So you can see how they're so different. You can see that the other ones last year was a lot more pigmented and the ones that he has are a lot more pigmented as well. So this palette this year is a lot more sheer and a lot more lighter. Um, but we're gonna go in and we're gonna use them. Typically, I would probably use maybe She So LA with this look or I might wanted to use the um, She's Baked um, personally with this look. But we're going to go in with the others and use it because we have it. So we're definitely going to go in and use it with this look. But um, they're definitely a lot more on the lighter side, just to say that. Okay, guys, going in with my Laura Mercier cheek brush, we're going to dive into I'm going to go with the peachier one in the middle. Um, and that one is, um, she is what's called Giving Sun Kissed is what it's called. So we're going to dive into that one a little bit. And I'm going to kind of add a little bit right through here. Um, I will tell you guys, um, this, um, palette, um, it's definitely a lot more lighter, like I said. Um, it's a beautiful formula. It's still the Patrick Ta. Um, the bombs, though, I mean, they're definitely more bombs. So, they're not like, a, it's supposed to be more like a cream blush. Um, so I really don't feel like they're the same kind. The, the cream blush and the other ones have more pigment. These definitely don't. These give more of like a glossy, balmy type look to the skin, um, where the other ones give a little bit more pigment really pretty blush it's very pretty it's very natural um it's not i mean you know you can build it up um a little bit but i mean but it it definitely pretty much it doesn't get too much more 
blessier than that. I mean, that's about pretty much the size of it. It really doesn't, I mean, you can build them up some, but it doesn't build up a ton. Um, but it's a really, it's a pretty soft blush. So if you like soft blush and that the other palette uh, was a little bit too vibrant for you last year and you were a little more scared of it this year, you might like enjoy this one better. Um, but this is, um, but again, it's very pretty. It's very soft. Um, darker skin tones, um, forget it. It's like with the, this palette, I don't know what he was thinking when it came to this one. Um, so just personally, just saying it out loud. Um, I think that, I mean, I've seen my good girlfriend, if I remember to put her video down below, I will, but she did a comparison to the old one and this one. Um, and she, uh, of course, definitely a lot more darker than me. Um, and she's got a darker complexion. If you want to see it on a darker complexion, um, I personally just don't think this one, I mean, compared to last year, I would just do a single blush or all together just do maybe a Pat McGrath blush or do something else. I mean, spend your money elsewhere personally. Um, but you know, I will give a complete in my final thoughts, but I mean, but it is really pretty. I mean, I really do like it. The bomb though, I mean, if you're going to use the bomb, um, you, you can use a tap a little bit over top of it. It gives like a little pigment, but it doesn't give a ton, but it is definitely more emollient. So it's got more of a, that, almost that more of that Vaseline kind of feel to it. So it's got definitely more of a balminess to it. So if you don't like balmy things and you don't like the way that it sticks to the skin, you definitely won't like that at all. Um, so let's go in and do a little bit with the highlighter. Um, so the highlighter is okay. Um, just personally, um, to me, it's a little bit more on the sparkly side. It's not, I don't think it's as beautiful as uh, some of my other highlighters that I have, but it's pretty. I mean, you can see it's definitely showing up on the skin and it's given like a little bit of that kind of glow, which is kind of like nice. Um, but up close, it's definitely a little bit more, so you can see it's a little bit, to me, it's not patchy but it's just a little bit more, it's got that little bit more of those heavier chunks of glitter. So if you don't like those kind of blushes, um, they're not as smooth as the new Charlotte Tilbury ones are, um, but it's pretty. I mean, it's not bad, but I mean, but it's okay. So I'll take a little bit of the balm because you know, I like, I like a balm over mine. I don't mind it. Um, it doesn't bother me any because I like that little bit of that glow. So it's not, it's not a big deal to me, but you only need a little bit of it though. I will say that it, it really is balmy. I mean, and it, if you're, if you're going to wear a long wear look, I definitely would not do it with a long wear look. It will go everywhere. By the end of the day, it would be all in your eyes. Your, all your eye makeup would be smeared. I mean, it would definitely be more, but since I'm doing this and I'm on camera, I can kind of do a little bit more with it. But I mean, it's really super, it is, I mean, it's definitely balmy, that is for sure. To me personally, I probably would have used one of the deeper blushes for this look. Um, and I'm gonna have to go over it a little bit by the time we get finished with it, just to add a little bit more color in with it. But, um, you know, but yeah, just kind of like, just, I mean, to be honest with you, just to tell you guys now, I mean, this is a, this is a meh to me. I mean, I'd. I would spend your money elsewhere. I mean, buy a palette, do something else with it. I just, I really don't see the big deal with this one this year. I mean, it's not like anything like the one last year. Last year was really beautiful. It was worth it. Um, I would get the individual blushes or one of, just one of the other ones. I would not mess with buying this palette unless you're light skinned or maybe a light to medium skin and you just want a really pretty soft, pretty blush palette. Other than that, that's about all it is. So the name of this lip liner is called Decade. Um, it is um, one of her shades. I've not had any Lisa lip liners. I just got Cinnabar as well. Um, but that is what the color looks like. It is more of this really beautiful chocolate color. I'm gonna go in and just add a little bit in here because I wanna kind of fill it in a little bit. Lip liner decadence in a beautiful, such a beautiful door. I'm sorry, decade. Sorry, I thought it was decadence. It's really how beautiful that is. I try not to fill it in too much because I want to fill that more in with the lipstick, but it's just so beautiful. This is really pretty if you wanted to do a gloss over it or if you wanted to do more of an orangey lipstick over this one, it would look really pretty. But we're going to go back over it with that shade that we had on earlier, the shade color Brave. Um, it was just kind of like that color. It's so pretty by itself. Just to give you guys a swatch, 
on its own. It's just this really beautiful, rich berry shade. And I'm gonna go in here and kind of really add that in. Kind of like get like an ombre effect. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. What do you guys think? Isn't it gorgeous? It's so pretty. It turned out so beautiful. Um, so after doing the Brave Lipstick, I just took a little bit of, um, I took two lip glosses and mixed them together. Um, I did the Birthday Confetti by Lancome, um, the Juicy Tube, and I did a little bit of my Pat McGrath Blue Astral Moonflower, and I mixed them together over top of it to give it this really beautiful, juicy, candy apple look to it. Um, just like caramel apple. What I was thinking it was like juicy apples that you see caramelized with the sugar and everything on that you eat. That's what I was kind of thinking of whenever I did this look because I just wanted it to be like a, almost like a chocolatey rich with a little bit of a redness to it. It's so pretty. It turned out really great. I did go back over my cheeks a little bit with a little bit of the brave. I took it and just added a little bit more extra for blush there and then a little bit more of the She Soap LA just to top it a little bit to give it a little bit more warmth um because i just felt like the other one wasn't giving me enough um but anyway that's it as far as the finished look goes um so of course you guys know how i feel about the lipstick the lipstick christian audet i love christian audet i've always loved them i have a code with christian audet as well gabe 10 down below so if you want to use that you can say pretend 10 percent off of your um purchase so i will leave the link for christian audet down below i do again i do not make anything money wise off of affiliate with christian um audet and just have a code to help you guys save money the same thing with the no Nomad, the Nomad Cosmetics. I also have a code with it. Just remember, it's Gave Loves 10 for this one to save 10% off of this palette. This palette is absolutely stunning, guys. It's so beautiful. The look turned out gorgeous. Um, I noticed it on my hands, the, the longevity of the product. It's even harder to get off, so that means that it's going to stay. So if you're worried about it not staying or the power or the color not lasting all day long, I don't think you're going to have a problem with it with this, with this particular um, palette. Um, the, the pigment is there. It's really beautiful, extremely blendable. So impressed with this brand. I am so impressed. I can't believe the look and the beauty that I got out of this product. It is just so beautiful. Simple to use, not really complicated. Again, we used more of these and then I used all of these. We will have to go back and use more of these olive um, cool neutral undertones. That is again for another day. We'll have to play with those. Um, but this is just the look that I kind of wanted to go with with this palette because it's the vibe that I, I was feeling right now at the moment. Moment. Um, but it is just so beautiful. They just turned out really, really beautiful. I think the eye look is just stunning. This palette is a definite must have. If you guys have not tried Nomad Cosmetics, I would give it a shot for $35 and then 10% off. It would be worth a shot, especially if you like color. If you don't like color, you don't like warm tones, you will not like this palette. Um, it's got a little bit more coolness in the greens. Um, but if you don't use enough of like the oranges and those really warm tones, you're not going to really like it. But if you look color and you look pigment and you like more of that warm undertone to it with a little hint of coolness in a palette, this would definitely be worth a pickup. Um, so let me, I got because I got a bunch of stuff on top of my Patrick top. <laughs> Pull it out here. This guy's I've already pretty much told you this is not worth it just gonna say i mean don't waste your money on it it's a i mean it's not a bad it's beautiful i mean it's still patrick ta don't get me wrong um it's just nothing like it was last year and not only that i feel that he should have came out he should be at a, a, a point in his career or his line that now if you're gonna do a palette like this you need like two or three of these palettes you need one for light one for medium one for deep it not all blush is created equal same thing with cream blush. It's not created equal. Not everybody can always use the same blush. It's very rare. Sometimes you can and sometimes you can't. But being a makeup artist for a very long time, not all blushes are created equal on all skin tones. With that said, this palette is just way, to me personally, it's way too light on most darker skin tones. If you're a little darker than me, maybe like a tan, maybe a light um, cocoa color, maybe a light... Um, not even, I don't even know if 
cocoa is the word I want to use. Like a very caramel is what I like, like a caramel skin tone. You may be able to get by with this palette. But to me, I would just spend my money. I would buy it on, you know, the pa another palette. I would buy it on another blush. I would buy, you know, one of the Patrick Ta singles. I would get one of those instead. Um, I would spend my money on something that I know that I would use all the time. I will never reach for this much anymore, just to be honest with you guys. I mean, I love the one that he came out with last year. I think it's just a lot better. I just think it was a lot. The color story was better. This color story was definitely more demographic, and you could definitely utilize on a lot of different skin tones. I know that a lot of lighter skin tones or maybe like medium skin tones thought maybe it might be too bright, um, but I thought it was perfect. It was the perfect amount. If you're going to do a palette like this, you need to come out with one a little bit more deeper or a little bit more brighter skin for other people so, or more darker skin tones so they can use it. Um, that's just my two cents. If you're gonna, especially if you're going to spend $58 to $60 on a palette, it. That's just my two cent. Um, you know, but other than that, I mean, you know, I'm just loving this lipstick, this lipstick, and this not look together. It's just like everything. This look is just everything to me, guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this fall look. I hope that you like this little bit of this tutorial mixed in with this whole candy apple look. You know, you guys let me know down below what you guys think of it. Um, you know, because I love your hear your feedback. Um, you know, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel if you really like what you saw. If you didn't like it, you know, I'm just happy that you were here, that you just stayed this long, or that you just kind of stuck around, or you just watched it all. So I really do appreciate it. Um, and you know, and with that said, guys, you know, as we always say here on my channel, you know, be safe, be strong, be proud, stand tall, love yourself. Remember to tell somebody that you love them today because life is way too short. And also remember to be kind to someone because kindness can go an awful long way. And that is every day. Just try to, as much as you can, try to, I hate to preach that every single time, but it really can make a huge difference on somebody. And, you know, also smile today. You know, have a laugh today. You know, enjoy yourself. Enjoy your life, you know, because um, it's only here one time. So enjoy it while you have it. Um, and other than that, guys, we will see you again in the next episode. Thank you so much for joining me and peace out. We will see you again soon. Bye.